Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge faced by developers working with JSON data. Our viewer has a question about excluding fields in JSON using Jackson and JSON View. The viewer is using the JSON View library to create dynamic JSON structures, but has encountered an issue. They want to exclude certain fields from the JSON output, particularly when dealing with recursive references in their data model. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. In this video, we will address how to exclude specific fields in JSON using Jackson and JSON View. Let's start by understanding the classes involved in our example. Here's the user class. It contains three fields, name, email ID, and mobile no, along with their respective getters and setters. Next, we have the screen info pojo class. This class references itself through the parent screen field and includes created by and last updated by fields of type user. Now let's look at the main code where we create instances of these classes and serialize them to JSON. We use JSON view to specify which fields to include or exclude. The issue arises when we try to include the parent screen.id field. Instead of getting just the ID, we receive all fields recursively. To fix this, we need to adjust our JSON view configuration. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To exclude fields in JSON using Jackson and JSON View, you need to modify the JSON View serializer. First, compile from source following the GitHub instructions. In the JSON View serializer.json writer.field allowed function, Find the match condition and comment out the else clause to achieve the expected result. For more control, add a property to the JSON view class to ignore paths if the class is registered. This allows you to customize the behavior further. Finally, you can use this setup in your code to specify which fields to include or exclude when serializing your objects. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To exclude fields in JSON using Jackson, you can use the JSON ignore annotation on the fields you want to hide from the JSON response. However, it's important to note that if you can't use annotations in your code, this method won't be applicable. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
To exclude fields in JSON using Jackson and JSON View, you can create a custom serializer. This allows you to control exactly what gets serialized. In the serializer, you define how each field should be written. For example, you can include nested objects and handle null values. After defining the serializer, register it with an object mapper and serialize your objects to JSON. This gives you full control over the output format. The resulting JSON will include only the specified fields, allowing for a clean and tailored output. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you and get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.